afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. Ready to learn some math? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. So before we do that, did anyone have a sports game this weekend? Oh, you had a sports game? Mm -hmm. Wow. What sport do you play? I play hockey. Oh, all right. So today we're doing a little bit of equations. And we're going to use something called variables. Does anyone know what a variable is? No? What do you think it is? It's a letter, right? Yes, they can be a letter. A variable can be anything that we're going to use in place of a number. It can be a letter. It can be a symbol. It can be anything you want it to be. All right. So let's say uh, in hockey, we're going to say your offense. So we're going to say, sorry, what's your name? Haley. Haley. So we're going to say, Haley, if your name's not spelled like that, I'm sorry. Haley has 10 goals overall during her hockey season. After her next game, she has 13. So, without solving this word problem, how can we express this? What do you think, Victoria? Good job, that was really good. So, what we do if we see a problem like this in real life, we can use the variable to stand for the number we don't know yet. So, how this will work, you can either, you can do this two ways, but as they get harder, you're probably gonna wanna do this a second way. In this one, it's pretty easy. We can kinda just tell that 10 plus three is gonna give us 13, so we can fill it in as three. But since we have an equal sign here, what we do on this side, as long as we do it on this side, we can do whatever we want. So when they get tougher, you might want to do something like this. Subtract the 10 from this side, subtract the 10 from this side, and what you're left with is an x by itself equals 3. Yes? How come we can't multiply? Well, you can multiply, actually. Um, I'll go over here so you guys can see it a little better. So, what do you want to multiply by? I wanted to multiply the 10. And by it how would much? Go over by 10. By 10? And, it would, right. and then you would multiply 10 times 13. Yes. But that's a bigger number. That is a bigger three. number. See, that's the problem. We could multiply both sides by 10 here. But that's just really going to get us further from the answer, because then we're going to get 100, remember to distribute, plus 10x equals 130. So you could, you could do that, but you're just going to make um, more trouble for yourself. But some you will have to multiply if there's like division in it, which brings us to our next activity here. So the first three on this sheet, we're going to do, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to do them on the board. There you guys go. All right. Don't, don't, don't start them yet. Hang on. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I want you guys to try to uh, give me an example of how to use this in a word problem. So we got the first one. What you got here? Got a lot to erase. <laughs> All right. So that first one, how can we make this into a word problem? What do you guys think? We don't know? What do you think? Can we use cookies? We can use cookies. That's perfect. <laughs> 43 cookies seem 
like a lot. Yeah, well, not for me. I eat a lot of cookies. So, 43 cookies. <laughs> All right, what are we, what are we gonna say? If um, we're subtracting, what should we do? We're eating them. Yes, we're eating them. And now we only have 37 left. Yup, that's right. So we start with 43 cookies and after we eat some cookies, we are left with 37. 37. All right. So, how are we going to, does someone want to come up to the board and show, them, show me how they write this? Let's see, Olivia. Okay. So we have 43 cookies. And we don't know how many we ate, so we know that there's 37 left. Correct. All right. Good job. We'll leave that there for there okay. for now. Um, that's a really good job. See, we don't know how many we ate yet, so we're just going to represent it as a variable. All right. And then, do you guys want to try to solve that on your on your sheet there? What do we think? What do we think? Uh, we will be left with. What did you get, Casey? I got six. Six cookies. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come up to the board and show them what you did? Yep. Uh, I got six too. Oh, good job. So I did 43, and then I subtracted 37, and then I had to go over and borrow, and then I got six, and then two. Good job. All right. So, does anyone else want to come up here and use the method where we balance the equation? You want to do it? Yeah. All right. Okay. Minus 33 equals 3. Negative 1 equals 3. Good job. All right. That was my bad. I should not have given you guys a negative question, but, all right, do, so when we're left with a negative variable, we can't have that. So does anyone know a way we can get rid of this? Can we just get rid of the negative because they both have negatives? We can, but there's a reason for it. When okay. you multiply a negative by itself, uh, or by another negative, you get a positive. So, what number can you multiply by to get itself? One. One, good job, so we're just gonna multiply these both by negative one. We're gonna get y equals six. All right. All right, the next one. How can we represent this as a word problem? Cupcakes. Cupcakes? All right, how many cupcakes do we have? Um, in total, we have 103. Right, so we got 103 at the end. Uh huh, and then we have 29. We Before do. Before we had 29. We, we added 29, but what came first? This is tricky. Um, a variable. So the variable. So we're gonna, we don't know how many cupcakes we actually have to start with. So we baked, we're gonna say a lot of cupcakes. Cakes. Then how are we going to represent plus 29? Um, Casey brought 29. And Casey brought 29. Now what are we going to say? Um, in total, we now have 103. Good job. That was really good. So now 
I'm going to say, how many cupcakes did we start with? I believe I used A. All right. So, does anyone want to come up here and solve this? Let's see it, Victoria. <laughs> okay, even though you add them, you have to subtract the All right, good job, that's correct. So, see, who knows why she subtracted 29 from 103? Um, it's because um, Casey brought the 29, and the total is 103. Right, so if we're gonna balance the equation, we're gonna take away the 29 that Casey brought. Yeah. And that's gonna give us 74. All right, good job. All right, can you guys try four through six by yourselves? Do you want us to do three? Hmm? Do you want us to do number three? Uh, you can do three if you want, but three is uh, another addition subtraction one. Whoa. <laughs> can I use a calculator? Absolutely. Um. I don't know how to divide them with a calculator. All right. You don't know how to divide them? Yeah, because so, these ones we're adding and subtracting. Yes. I was hoping someone would bring that up. So, can you read off the question to me? Um, 32 divided by Q equals 4. So, the problem is we now have a variable and we're dividing by it. Right, so it's gonna be hard to do this problem. So, what you actually need to do is, let's say we had a 32 divided by two equals, I'm gonna say x. So, what would, do you know what we'd do if uh, we had this? Um, we would do the bar and divide. Uh, yes, we could do that. We do 32 divided by 2 is 16, so 16 equals x. But another thing we could do is multiply by 2, and then the 2 would come over here. So that's what we're going to do with this variable. We're going to multiply by the variable, and since we're dividing by the variable, it's going to balance out. And that's going to leave us with 4 cubed. So 32 is going to equal 4 cubed. And then what? What do you think? Do we divide by 4? Yes, good job. So, since the 4 is now over here and we're multiplying it, we're going to divide by 4. Oh. Does that mean the 4 is canceled out? Yes, that's right. So we're going to be left with, what's 32 divided by 4? What is it? 8. Good job. Okay, guys. Mr. Walker. Yep. Jamie has a question. What's going on, Jamie? Should we box in our answers? You can box in your answers if you'd like to. I like to box them in so they stand out. All right. So, what'd you guys get for number five? Twelve. Twelve? Did everybody get twelve? Yeah. Good job. What'd you get for number six? Five. Good job. All right. All right, we're a little low on time here, so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a game. The game is called Be the Teacher. All right, 
So what you're going to do, bless you, bless you, thank you, is you're going to quiz your fellow classmates. You can either write a word question or a question uh, with uh, just a normal equation with just numbers in the letter. It doesn't matter which one. And you're going to pass it to someone else at the table here. And if you get the answer right, you get a piece of candy. So don't, don't solve the questions you're writing. Those, the, you're just going to write the question, and the question's going to go to somebody else. Um, and make sure you, uh, Casey, go to this there. Go to the floor. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. Is everybody done with their question? Do you need a little bit more time, Olivia? Done. All right. All right. Hand somebody else your question. Doesn't matter who. There you go. All right. Are you guys all done? Yeah. All right. So you guys are going to go one at a time. You're going to go up to the board and read out your question and then write it on the board and show us how you solved it, okay? Can I go first? You can go first. Can I go second? Yes, you can. Mine says <laughs> Jamie has 35 dogs and Casey brings 115 dogs to Jamie's house. <laughs> How many dogs are now at Jamie's house? So because Jamie already had 35 dogs, that's there. And then Casey brought, so we're going to add 115, which seems like a lot. <laughs> um, and then we want to know how many they have in total. So then we're just going to add. And the total is 150 dogs. All right, good job. Oh, wait, yeah. Um, take a piece of candy from over here. You going next, Jamie? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so my problem was H minus 25 equals... All right, now before we solve that, did they write it out with numbers? Yes. Okay, so you're going to have to translate that into words for us. Oh, honey. <laughs> um, okay, so I have to make a word problem? Yes. Okay. Does anybody have any ideas? <laughs> Can I help her? Yeah, yeah, we're all going to help her. Um, okay, <clears throat> so you made... 25 cookies, or no, well, you made 50 cookies. We'll, we'll 
say, we'll say, we're gonna use cookies. Yep. So we're gonna say, Wait, Jamie like made a large batch of cookies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The class ate 25 of them. Should I be writing this down? Yes. <laughs> Well, yes, but yes, exactly. 50 oh. were left. Good job. All right, now, now you can solve the equation for us. So I added 25 to both sides, which gives me 75 cookies. Good job, all right. Who's next? Who's next? Let's see it, Casey. I'm not gonna throw it to you. You can't catch. <laughs> Be nice to each other, class. No. <laughs> okay, so my problem says, Casey really likes popcorn, so she got 100 bags. Jamie also likes popcorn, so she got a lot of bags, too. They now have 137 bags of popcorn. How many bags do they have in total? So I did 100 plus my variable equals 137 because that's how many we have all together and then I subtracted 100 and then I got 37 and that's how many bags Jamie brought. All right, good job. Does that look right? Mm -hmm. All right, go grab a piece of candy, Casey. Oh, I forgot my candy. <laughs> all right, who's next? Let's see it, Victoria. Okay. Flip would also want a cat since people are making fun of the dog. So it says, <laughs> if I have 100 cats and I make just 25 groups, how many groups do I have? <laughs> that is not how I read it. I read <laughs> how many are in each group. So now. <laughs> That's right. That's what the problem wanted to. Good job. Give a piece of candy. All right, who's left? Is that Haley? All right, let's see you, Haley. Tell us what the what numbers they use and stuff, okay. and then write down on the board the word problem okay. for us. Um. So it says y minus forty five mm -hmm. equals sixty. Um. So for this, it says the. Uh, Teacher handed out candy to his students. He has 45 students in his class. When he was done handing out candy, he had 60 pieces left. How many pieces did he start with? Good job. All right. So I just add 45. And I got 105. Good job. What do we think? 
Good job. All right. Grab a piece of candy. And we're all done.